All right, hello, welcome to the video. Uh, today I actually wanna show you how to use this perspective tool in Clip Studio Paint uh, because I've been using it myself and uh, drawing these backgrounds and stuff. Um, and it's coming in handy, so I thought I'd go ahead and share uh, just this little tutorial, I guess, on how to use the uh, perspective tool in Clip Studio Paint. So uh, without, further, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and just get into the video. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and transition transition into uh, Clip Studio Paint uh, and we can get started. So let's go. All right, so I'm in Clip Studio and now I want, what I want to do is show you how you can use the perspective tool to actually draw backgrounds. So I'm here on my uh, canvas and here are some thumbnail sketches of backgrounds I've already drawn before, just for practice and stuff. Um, okay, so these are my little rough sketches of uh, backgrounds I created. Now I wanna actually show you how I went about sketching this with a perspective tool. So the first thing I did is create a little box. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you can use the rectangle tool to create a box. Okay, so yeah, instead of drawing it manually, where I have my horizon, horizon line, and then a vanishing point and all that, right? That's pretty tedious to do it by yourself. Instead of doing that in Clip Studio, I'm going to uh, actually just use the perspective ruler. And to do that, to create a perspective ruler, you're gonna go up to layer, down to ruler slash frame and then you can create a perspective ruler and here once you've selected that option you can select what kind of perspective you want you can have one point two point or three point um hmm, let's see i'm just gonna go with two point for now two point perspective and press ok and once you have that you have a perspective ruler and what's cool about the perspective ruler in clip studio paint is that you can edit this perspective ruler however you want if you hold down control hold down control on windows uh select the ruler you can you'll see you'll see all these points on the perspective ruler and what all these points allow you to do is actually move the ruler and the uh, guides in any way you want you can adjust the vanishing points you can adjust the horizon line if i want a bird's eye view I put my horizon line toward the top and if I want a worm's eye view I put the horizon line toward the bottom of the image or canvas but what's cool about the uh, perspective ruler is that you have all these points that you can adjust the uh, vanishing, vanishing points and horizon line with and this comes in this perspective tool comes in really handy when drawing backgrounds because one, you don't have to draw it out yourself. And then two, uh, uh, Clip Studio allows you to edit the horizon line and vanishing points as you wish. So let's just put the horizon line up here. Make it like right there. Zoom out a little bit. Have my vanishing point right there and right there now now that I have my ruler set and my perspective set I can start drawing and what's cool about the what I, or what I really like about the perspective tool is that you can do this so I'm drawing this is my perspective let's just create a little box or something real quick so I'm drawing my background right and getting all the details and getting all the windows but sometimes in back in your background you might need to draw a curve and you have this perspective ruler on right and what that means is that uh, this is all your all your lines are going to snap to the perspective ruler whether you're going to that vanishing point or this vanishing point to the left uh, what's cool about the perspective ruler is that while you're drawing, all you have to do is hold control, 
select that the perspective ruler and then if you zoom in on this little button down here not only does it move the ruler for you by holding this and then dragging it <clears throat> but if you press this button to the bottom right of this of the move tool here you press this button and now the perspective ruler is green and this little eye icon I guess is like crossed out and what that means is now your lines aren't gonna snap to the ruler anymore so now you can draw your curves and all that and get fancy draw some windows and just circular shapes and stuff now it's not gonna snap to the ruler itself and that comes in real handy for when I'm drawing my backgrounds so I'm back on the on my rough sketches that I showed you before and as you can see there there are lines here that aren't straight right and that's because I was able to select the perspective ruler and turn off the snapping and go in and draw in these curved shapes and stuff like that and that's kind of what I did with uh, a lot of these or these three backgrounds especially this one uh, and again just to show you again um, to actually do that so you're on your background layer, you're drawing your background, and now now you want to snap to your ruler again because you need straight lines, right? I'm trying to draw a door here, <laughs> but it's not very straight. So what I'm gonna do is hold control, click the ruler, and then go down to this icon. It might be somewhere else, it might be somewhere uh, different on your ruler, and that's because for me, I actually I actually move the icon what's cool about this little icon over here if you tap the icon in the top left you, you can actually move that entire icon itself so you, it can be wherever you need it to be while drawing and so again if I want the my lines to to uh, snap to the ruler I just press this and now it doesn't have a line to it if you can see it now the line no, it doesn't. So now it's going to snap to the ruler. And there we go. And that works with all the perspective rulers. Which is pretty cool. And so here is a uh, background I've been working on. The sketch before that I showed you. And with this background, I actually use the perspective tool as well. And what's cool about this perspective tool uh, is that you can also use it on other layers. So down here on the bottom right, my ruler is just on this sketch layer because I copied and pasted it from my uh, original sketch. And if you select the ruler icon to the right of your layer and then go up here to the set showing area of ruler, you can have it show on all layers, just show in the same folder if it's in a folder. Or just show it only when you're editing or drawing on that specific layer so if I select this and I go up to this layer it's not gonna show up because I have it set to only show when I'm editing on this layer down here and that comes in handy in case you need to draw something else on this layer if you don't want the uh, perspective tool on on that layer to show on that layer but for when I'm drawing I usually like to keep it on uh, showing all layers because you can just uh, control click and then just turn off the snap or turn it on if you want to and that's what I've been doing with this background uh, is I've been using the perspective ruler to draw this background and I also use it to draw this one here uh, this big background is pretty cool I like it uh, I'm gonna have to go and finish it up uh, but yeah I, bet I use the perspective tool for this uh, background as well but that's pretty much it for this video uh, hopefully I helped you out with the perspective tool uh, show you how to how it works uh, and uh, hopefully you can go and create your own backgrounds now as well uh, I'm really enjoying this process because like the perspective tool just makes it 
super easy to create backgrounds. Um, I'm gonna go and finish this up and then show this to you at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, hopefully this helped you. Hopefully you can now go on Clip Studio and use the perspective tool the way you want to use it and easier and all that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I think I think it's locked onto it. So yeah. As you can see here, all my lines are snapped to the ruler. It's just making it, making, making drawing this whole uh, background way easier. And uh, I'm enjoying the process. So uh, that's all for this video. I'm gonna show you the finished product of this illustration, this background here. Uh, hopefully, right now, and uh, in the video. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Thanks for watching and uh, peace.